So what was your fa- most favorite concert you ever been to? It was... I was going to say a Playboy Cardi concert I went to back in 2019. That was the best one? That was the first, that was the first official concert I went to. The 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 feeling I had when I almost died. I like, <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. Like, bro, I fell into like... Like a like a pit, I fell I fell down and I just see hella people, like collapsing on top of me. And that was the best feeling. Ever. And like and I see like a hand grab me. It's my boy Guinea. It's Guinea, right? I'm like, yo, nah, this shit is intense, bro. I'm like, I need to do this again, bro. What the fuck? It was so, like it was an adrenaline, bro. I like I like that feeling. Like the feeling of almost like like a mortal danger. Not that feeling, but now like I'm kind of like. <laughs> Indestructible, like nobody can stop me. Man. I ain't going yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 77. I'm your host, Dido aka Darius. I'm here with my brother Jordan. Say what's good to the fellas, people. Yo, 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 what's good? What's good? It's in the background doing the cameras. Well, he don't got a mic, so he can't say what's up, but you just know he's back there, bro, like a, like a little ghost, <laughs> like a little ghost, but. Um, follow our socials down below. Follow that stuff. I put them down uh, below in the captions. Uh, oh, what else I was gonna say? Oh, thank y'all again. We hit two hundred fifty thousand on TikTok, bro. A quarter away to a million, bro. I ain't never going thought we always going up day by day. So, how long we been doing this for? Probably like a year and a half, bro. I think so. We started like oh, move up, move up a little bit. What, dude? The be the end. We started the September twenty twenty. Nah, like beginning. It was like the end of 2021. It was like September. It I was. Remember. I think that was the first video in September. Yeah, and then I remember. I think like I looked. At, I looked back at it like a year ago today. We was at I think seventy thousand, and we already at twenty five two hundred fifty thousand. Shout out to all y'all if y'all new to the channel. Welcome, subscribe all that stuff. If you're still here from the beginning. All y'all I already know who y'all. Y'all always talk to us every single day. Thank y'all for supporting us. All that good stuff. New merch coming soon. New hoodies also coming on the way. Stay, Stay tuned, tuned for all that. But yeah, we, we gotta do something special when it hit the five hundred k. What do you think we should do? Stay tuned for that. We gonna we gonna brainstorm. You gonna brainstorm? Gonna I was brainstorm. thinking about because I remember some some company hit me up about uh sponsor. They they have they gonna give me like free like um, you know microphones mm-hmm. that you could put on like jerseys and shit. Oh, I was thinking yeah. like we could record like a basketball game and like get be like mic'd Ooh, up like a special video. Yeah, yeah. no no no, that'd be clutch. Like we'll go to Beer Temple or some shit and like play like pickup and shit. That'd be funny, and actually, I got a I got a camera guy at Rutgers that like, he's one nah, of my boys. I'm down for that. So a pickup game. Yeah, you need good for it, bro. Uh, I'm down for that, bro. Uh, as long get, as you need good, you gotta bro. get the right squad, bro. Jordan don't got no ACL, bro. Wait, do you have an ACL or did did they take it from your hamstring? I think they reconstructed it. Wait, what? <laughs> like basically, they put like a a screw that just dissolved in it. So I don't even know. They just put a screw in your knee? Yeah, all I think, all I know is they drilled like two holes in my ACL. Okay, that's not, because I know my boy, my boy Mir, he got, he tore his ACL. They said they, they put, they drilled the screws in his knee, but they took a piece from his hamstring to replace his ACL. And he still, he said he still feels it in the back of his like leg and shit. I don't know if they, I think they did that shit with something down here with maybe my calf. Oh, they took it out your calf? I think so. I don't know. Do you be noticing it? Like, do you still have pain in your knee? No, or that shit? I don't even feel it no more. Oh, that's just a little cool. bit, actually. A little bit. Really? Was at that concert yesterday? Destroyed Lonely? I how was, feel, how I was, was that? It. Destructive. Kind of? Destructive, I mean. Destructive, destructive as in good? Yeah, good, but like people over here suffocating and you feel Suffocating. Me? It's hot as hell in that shit, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Niggas were getting smothered, bro. Like, niggas was like, like actually the, passing the, out. The, the way you got to remain yourself, you got to just... You gotta let yourself be, bro. You gotta just move with the motion. See, bro. you you ish like that, like rave parties and shit, like. Bro, but it's easy, bro. For anybody, you just can't be panicking. Then if, <laughs> can't like, be panicking. Yeah, because like you gotta understand, everybody else is literally in the same position you in. Nobody can move. <laughs> nobody can do that. So why the fuck are you gonna make it worse? What was it? It was in Montclair. Oh really? Like yeah. like not the college, right? No, no, no. Somewhere in Montclair, around there. Dang. How many people was there? It was a lot of people? It was OD. It like, was OD. And it was, it was a little venue, too, bro. Damn, so it was extra claustrophobic. OD claustrophobic, <laughs> bro. Yeah. So, like, it you, was hella little girls getting squished behind me, bro. Little white girls? Yes, bro. <laughs> Niggas just, oh, my I'm gosh, you, bro. So, this is crazy. So, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you have to wear certain shoes for that shit, huh? Yeah, wear some beaters, bro. Some beaters all the time? Literally, some sh- some shits, like, you really do not care about. Okay. You gotta wear so is there a certain area? Because I remember we went to 
I remember when we went to Philly, we went to like some Sean Kingston shit, and there was little areas like the the place was small, but there was areas where you can go where if you don't want to be in the bottom, is it there's ever places like that or is it just straight like? Uh, well, here there was like a balcony at the top, so you could go up there. Oh, okay, but down there, like you kind of exposed, kind of exposed and stuck <laughs> wherever you go. <laughs> so like, there's really no way getting out. The only way getting out, you gotta like literally beg someone to throw you over to like pick you up and pick you over the fence. Really? Yeah. What, who's who's Because it's hard as fuck to try to get out of that shit too. Who's the concert you guys went to? Uh, his name is Destroy Lonely. Oh, I think he, I think you told me about him before. So, mm-hmm. so, so what was your fa- most favorite concert you ever been to? Cause I know you've been, you been my most a lot. favorite one. Yeah, the best one. My, my first other one. than Rolling Loud. Cause I know y'all been there twice. That don't count. I right, my favorite one. Uh, it was. I was gonna say a Playboy Cardi concert I went to back in 2019. That was the best one. That was the first. That was the first official concert I went to. The 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 feeling I had when I almost died, I like, <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. Like, bro, I fell into like, like a like a pit. I fell, I fell down, and I just see hella people, like collapsing on top of me. And that was the best feeling. Ever. And like, and I see like a hand grab me. It's my boy Guinea. It's Guinea, right? I'm like, yo, nah, this shit is intense, bro. I'm like, I need to do this again, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? It so was like it was an adrenaline, bro. I like I like that feeling, like the feeling of almost like like a mortal not that danger. Feeling, but now, like I'm kind of like indestructible. <laughs> like nobody can stop me now. I ain't gonna hold you. Yo, I'm like, oh, I be I be pushing crowds. You be pushing niggas. I be punching and pushing people, bro. Nah, bro. No. I, <laughs> nah, I'm your, I, I, I'm be I be mushing the shit out of people, bro. Because I remember I, it wasn't no like I remember I seen some rave, but it was like rock music, and niggas is literally like they was in like a like a random hall. Like you, like you ever been to the boy? You know the boys and girls. Remember that little uh, bingo hall? Yeah, it was where, like where they used to play bingo on the side, like mm-hmm. on the left. That it was like that, but it was like a concert, and niggas was literally just running around and punching niggas. Like some girl got hit with nah. the haymaker. <laughs> like she got. Like, Bro, nigga, the one place I won't ever go to is a heavy metal concert. Nah, I feel like dumb, that's dangerous. Them shits are literally dangerous. Bro, niggas like just throwing punches and kicking. Like they're really yeah, getting they hit. Yeah, they hurt. They, they, they look for blood, bro. Bro, like some girl, like the nigga just went like this. And the girl's just trying to walk out. He hit her right in the face. Nah, and, like, they, and they won't care. They won't They won't check if she's okay. They'll just continue raging, as, as they say, bro. <laughs> They'll continue raging. Yo, so are you considered a rager, bro? Oh, no, I'm certified, bro. Are you a certified? I got five stars, bro. Don't kill me, bro. I'm here, bro. Nah, bro. I can't go I'm to trying to bring y'all everybody niggas, out there, bro. Everybody's scared, bro. I'm scared. That does like, sound mortal danger. Like, my main one I want to bring out is UJ, bro. Nah, UJ, see, UJ's cause he not going like yeah, he, he told me he went to that Shorty Shorty concert, yeah. whatever. And he said he was he was vibing in that shit. I'm like, all right, bro. Let me bring it to the New York one, bro. Nah, bro. You too, bro. Nah, I'm a, I'm a nigga type. Like, I just want to sit down and listen to music. Like, that Rod Wave concert, that shit was great. <laughs> that shit was great, bro. Imagine my man raging, bro. He nah, crazy, I don't want to stand bro. up and, like, having to look over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I be getting fucking... I be getting anxiety. Fuck. <laughs> bro, like, the way the positions you get stuck, that shit can be crazy. Like, your dead ass be like this. Like, you never dropped... You don't be afraid, like, dropping your keys or your wallet. You ever dropped it? Oh, no. I don't dare to bring none of them shits to me. Oh, you just, what, put it in your car? Yeah, I leave it in my car. Yeah. Even your keys? Yeah. What the fuck? Nigga's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Even your phone? Bro, literally, yesterday in, in, the, in the thing, we literally... Some girl came up with me, uh, have you guys seen a pair of car keys? <laughs> no, no. I'm like, see, there's not a reason I'm not bringing my car keys in here, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I would be like a scum. I'd, I'd be looking for my, a I'd rather lose my phone than my car keys. Oh, you'd rather bring your phone? Yeah. That's crazy. Were you I, guys were you guys in the front front or are you guys like in the middle? Nah, it depends on where you want to go. If you want to go to the front, you gotta put your whole energy to it. Like you really gotta like work for yeah, that you gotta, shit. You gotta, work, you gotta work for it. <laughs> nah, bro, working for that shit is crazy. Damn, bro. Yeah. All right, so so I got a question, right? So, what? All right, which one would you rather be erased from the world? All music or all sports? As in, they would like only you know they were ever created. But, like, nobody else knows what it is. So, I'm only going to be the one with memories of it? But, like, you will... Uh, yeah, you have memories of it, but it will never be a thing. And, like, you can never do it again because it's illegal. Like, you can never play, like, basketball again. You can't invent a rim because it's illegal. You can't make... You can't listen to no music. It's illegal. But, like, everybody just... You just forget about... Like, they all uh, forgot about it. Like, which one would you rather erase from the it's world? It's like... I want to say... I want to say... Music. Oh, I thought he was going to say sports. But respectfully, I'm not gonna hold you. I gotta see sports. You gonna say sports? I got to, yeah. Oh my gosh. So you would. Yo, ne- if you think about it too, I feel like 
music was high key created way before sports. No, it was. I thought like people got in tune, and it's just like, I don't know. It's just something about music. That's a good question. No, nah, it, it definitely was. I think it was definitely. But like there was always, unless there was just like hand in hand. Freaking animals making music. I thought they'd be doing a little, the little birds, the main shit. They'd be dancing and making music. That's not music. That's just sounds. That's mating, but they make sounds. It's like music to them, though. But like they, not, so. they don't classify it as music. That's just sounds, though. I mean, I guess, but but you gotta get rid of you gotta get rid of sports, bro. Yeah, I'm getting rid of sports. So you never. Ever, I need music, bro. You need music, yeah, bro. Damn. Especially when you by yourself. I don't know. Think bro. about it, bro. What do you really, really, really need sports for? It's good entertainment, bro. It's good entertainment. So is music. It, and you can enjoy that, sh- and you can enjoy music with way more people as a collective than in sports. Right, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, let's think about the bad. You're not gonna get every girl in in this in your area to join in that sport you're trying to play with. Life might be boring without sports, though. Like, you just imagine how boring life would be. No Super Bowl, no World Cup, no Olympics. Niggas just gonna be, niggas gonna be fat. I don't know. <laughs> there might not be no weightlifting, low key. Niggas just gonna be fat. Wait, so is exercise considered a sport? No, nah, I don't consider it a sport, but I'm I just saying like... You can still work out. You can still work out, but it's just like there's more options to work out. There's going to be more fat people, I feel like. Nah, bro. You got to get rid of you gotta get rid of sports, bro. Really? Nah, yeah, I don't... Bro. All right, let me let me picture my day if I don't have music. I'm just going... I could listen bro, to... Bro, think about it too. Not everybody plays sports. Yeah, I know, but like... Majority of everybody really does listen to music. They got some type of music to listen to. You're weird if you literally don't listen to nothing at all. There might be people like that, though. Yo. <laughs> nah, there might be niggas nah, that listen Nah, you really to... don't listen to, like, no type of music. Not even, like, an instrumental or something in the background. Like, so it's like old people. I know you listen to some little jazz or some shit in the back. <laughs> some shit, like bro. elevated music? Like, every person I know has to love music. Um, Not everybody what? likes sports. Like, that's a, that's a, damn, bro. I love sports. I don't think I could get rid of that shit, though. I gotta, I gotta watch something. Like I don't even watch sports like that. Like I can't be wa- like I feel like my attention span has gone way back, like really down ever since I was a kid, bro. Bro, literally, my whole YouTube is hella, like just hella random music and stuff. So really, yeah. just like like music videos. Yeah, and even when I'm like doing stuff around the house, I gotta have some type of little tune, oh music tune playing in the back, bro. Dang, bro. Music is everywhere you go. Music did unite people. Bob Marley, that when shit. you're playing basketball, I know you got some type of little music in the back, bro. <clears throat> I do. Now, when I was a kid, I used to play. When I used to play <clears throat> basketball, bro, I used to like pretend I had mixtape music in my head, so and like I'm making a mixtape. You be humming, you be singing the music in your head. You need it, bro. But I, I don't know if I. I don't think I could get rid it of fills basketball. In that look, that little em- it fills in that emptiness. That emptiness. <laughs> you feel me? It fills in that emptiness. <laughs> what, what do you think? What, nah. I, I understand your point though. You can be good with all sports, bro. You got games, bro. There you go. Let's look at video that, games. You got video games. But there's no 2K. You know, you know 2K who, shitty. Who <laughs> 2K, that, bro? 2K shitty. Ah, you know, I might, I might get rid of sports. You but, need to, bro. But music, bro. What, you what's, what's your, what do you think is the worst genre of music? Uh, I don't know who listening to this, but uh. That country ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. Country's not that bad. Bro, I don't really know. Have you listened? To, like, have you actually like listened to country like for real? Like just sat down, just like you know, just played it in the background. Bro, I'm like a hold you, my radio be playing that shit. Like, but I mean, like really. Oh, like put it on. It just wait. Do you, like before my my car connects to my, my 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 phone. Yeah, hella country be playing. <laughs> you probably just on the country I'd channel. Be like the fuck is this, bro? I think the worst form is like classical music. Classical is terrible. Bro, low key, that should be hitting though. No, it don't be hitting, bro. It be hitting, Classical bro. music does not be, be hitting. hitting Classical bro. music is the worst. I used to hate that shit, bro. Like the fucking remember, like the Phantom of the Opera shit, bro. Like all them shits that you used to learn, like music class when we was growing up, bro. bro nah, I felt that though. Like it be- is ass. Beethoven, like nigga said, that nigga was a genius. That nigga's ass. Nah, he is ass. He, he he's terrible. That nigga is nah, horrible. Stop, stop, stop nah, fuck he's, Beethoven. He, he paved the road for people, though, bro. He paved the road for people. He paved the road, bro. Man, but I don't know, bro. Fuck Beethoven, bro. I'm saying this here right now, bro. Fuck that, nigga. yo. But like country music, country music, music is cool. It's like it's like R and B for white people. It is with like a little but guitar. The no, R and B it would be like heavy metal to white people, low key. Nah, I don't even know because like just think about R&B. You, like every time I think of country music, I just think like I'm in the pasture, just like. Just like you know, just like in the meadow or some shit like that. You just hear the guitar playing and like a sunset. Oh, no. That shit lit. I can't, I can't, I can't get jiggy with the. With you can't the, get jiggy I can't with get that, jiggy bro. With the, with the country, <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't, it ain't bump it to me. Don't make me do the. Do you bump your head like that? 
That shit low-key be kind of the, I think, kind of depressing at times. Like, you listen to the country music. You listen, you listen to lyrics. I... <laughs> You having that banjo and stuff, you feel me? Nah, that shit. See, I don't like that. I don't like that quick ass country music. <laughs> Nigga said a banjo. You having that banjo on deck, bro? Nigga, I need the fucking. Wait, need... what's an, what's another genre of music? Uh, rock music. There's rock, R and B. Yo, there was there's a there was a there's a uh, trainer at my school. Like when I was a freshman, she used to play like heavy death metal at like nine o'clock in the morning. Isn't that the one that be having the voice like hella? Yeah, like rrr. like she used to play that shit at nine <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Like when we had practice, I used to walk in the train. I'm like, what the hell going on? Yo, I don't know how people do that, bro. Nah, nah. One of the baseball guys, kids, his name's Ryan. Like one of his walk up songs is like death metal. So like he going up to the mound, you just hear everybody get the run. That shit has nah, me crying, bro. bro. Everybody looking around scared. You're white? And shit. Yeah, damn. You white kid, damn. But yeah, it's bro, he, exp- he, insp- he he expressing himself though, bro. I, I think he's just doing it as a joke because I don't think I, there's no way he really listens to that. You shit, know what's bro. another um good genre of music I actually like? Um, what? I think it's that um that thing Lil Yachty listens new album. Nah, his is new it, album is it, I think it's it, that's in the, like the psychedelic like trip, trippy like, type of music, like genre. I, I, that's how they put it. I think is it like how's it sound though? Is it like techno music? Mm. Should I play it? If you want to. Nah, we won't get copyrighted. It. Yo, is the, the camera's cool though, right? Yeah. My shit's not shaking. I bet. Cause my hey, shit. Hey bro, I was vibing with it, my man Yachty. It's like the- Oh, I get it. It's like uh it's like it sounds you know like what I'm trying, you see what I'm trying to say? It's like jazz music. It's not jazz music. It reminds me of, it reminds me of jazz. Nah, it does sound like like you're going through like a like a trip. Like, like, it's, like <laughs> it's like it's like you're going through a tunnel, and then we exit that tunnel. <laughs> the sun is setting. The sun is setting. Nah, yeah, and yeah. You just, there you go. So it's, it's an elevating music. So what what type? What, what would you consider that as? I don't even know because I don't even know how to look that up. But someone put on Twitter it was like psychedelic genre. I was like, okay, I guess I you can, could I like can that. see that. That shit, I like that new genre to be honest. So oh, yeah, country's done up. Country's done up. Country's done up. Country's not bad, bro. People, if y'all like country, bro, let me know. But country's not. If you just got right, you gotta listen to the right people, bro. Wait, so you you doing? So what's worse, jazz or country? Jazz. Damn. <laughs> what <laughs> jazz? It just uh, jazz is just equivalent to classical jazz, music. Jazz is done up for me. Like that. That just reminds yeah, me of just like I the Sopranos. I might. I might put. Country over jazz. Country. That's what I'm saying. Country is not bad. Cause country jazz don't got lyrics, right? I think sometimes, right? Sometimes. Remember that shit is like scatting. The yeah. Scat, yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a movie that had like a a jazz scene. This might was singing. Uh, I'm thinking about his Princess and the Frog. Remember that part in the. <laughs> that's the only thing I can think about. Who was had jazz? That soul movie. That's so with the the Disney movie. Yeah, that was. A, oh yeah, they did have a jazz part. It was, it was hella jazz theme. I like that movie. I ain't gonna lie. I like that movie. Nah, the movie's fire. That was. It was kind of. I think. I think. I need music that has lyrics. You need music that has lyrics. Yeah. So what if somebody starts singing over classical music? Is there people that sing over classical music instead of them opera people that be doing that weird shit with their voice? Nah, I don't think so. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, do like that's what I'm wondering. Is niggas still making classical music? Don't, no, nobody like, doing there, that. Is niggas like really bringing like an orchestra I together. Think the most <laughs> popular music is literally like R and B and hip hop. Yeah, it has, I mean, well, that, over here, let me put it like that because I know shit is different everywhere, bro. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know what they're bumping out there in Asia, bro. Te- it's definitely techno music, bro. It's the, that B- BST, well, BTS, you, BTS. My, my sister loves that shit, but yo, that's like pop music, though. Yo, why do people love them so much, bro? I don't know. And there's like freaking like thirty of them niggas. Yo, was it their show that that shit fell on them? Somebody's face. What? Oh like, wait, I think you know I'm talking, talking about? about. Yeah, I was it dumb. It might have been. That shit was crazy, bro. It might have been a whole like. Light or sign fell on that man's face, bro. Bro, bro, did you see what happened at the mall the other day? Oh, American Dream? Yeah, the fucking the helicopter fell off the ceiling and landed on somebody. It was four people. Yeah. Like, I'm like, damn. I'm like, yo, they didn't, like, that's crazy. That's money. Nah, that's what I'm saying. If that's I was money. there, bro, even if I was next, if I didn't get hurt, I'm going to act like I got hurt. Like, yo, that shit started drowning me, bro. Yeah, I'm like, yo, bro, I broke my, <laughs> my wrist. Yo. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm fine. Like, I got, I'm traumatized for that shit. I'll never CT, go to water park. <laughs> CT from a water park is crazy, bro. But you you seen the other shit that's been going on going on across the country, bro? Yeah, the Ohio. That shit with the fucking uh, that shit is scary, bro. 
That shit is scary. <sighs> See, you know, bro. people were, were comparing it to like, you know, you ever heard of that Chernobyl? Uh, is that the that big ass explosion in Europe or some shit like that? The nuclear it was like plant. A, it was like a nuclear explosion that happened. Yeah, I was, think it was Russia. It was like someone. Is it there like Poland or something? I think it was Russia. Cause you do you literally do a whole modern warfare mission in, in the Call of Duty. Yeah, mission. I think I know you talk. I know you talk about. It's just the greatest mission. <laughs> anyways, but yeah, it's like they was comparing that shit to the that Chernobyl shit. Yeah, like basically a train derailed, mm-hmm. a hell of chemicals. And that shit just exploded. And that shit polluted the living fuck out of the air. And like, the did water. you see the picture of like the clouds, bro? Yeah. That shit would look like that shit was dark as fuck. You see all the animals that were dying in the water, bro? Yeah, like the the fish was dying. Yeah, like a lady, she threw like a rock, and like hella chlorine started popping up in the water. That's sick, bro. That shit is sick. Imagine that shit in your sink water. That's what I'm saying. They still let people go back to their houses. Yeah, and I heard I heard that that Biden administration shit, whatever. Yeah. Denied that. Denied help. Assistance. That's fucked up. That's what I'm saying. Bro. And you help Ukraine? There's so much shit. What go- is this? Bro. Why are you helping people across the world with motherfuckers over here? That's what I'm saying. That shit's happening getting- everywhere, bro. Yeah. Like, you seen the shit? There was, like, another truck in Arizona fucking fell over. That shit, there was, like, red smoke or some shit like that. Really? Yeah. I didn't even hear about that. Like, it was, like, another acid. It was, like, a chemical truck. It spilled over, and you just see red smoke coming they're out the thing. They're trying to push it in the air, low-key. Nigga, they're trying to kill us, bro. Then you heard the shit in Florida? What shit in Florida? It was a plastic facility that caught on fire. A plastic? Oh, I think I heard about that, bro. This I shit's... think it was, it was a couple of days ago. I think. I don't, yo, I don't know why, bro. But like this whole shit. Somebody is... said ever since no red boots drop, hella weird shit. Happen, <laughs> I know, like aliens and shit. Hella bro. weird shit. Hella alien nonsense, bro. And like I don't even. Then was, I think it was a couple of meteors. I think it was like asteroids came. I think just the day before. Yeah, I heard about in that. Like Europe. It was, oh, it was in Europe. I thought it was think, over like Texas or some shit. I Maybe. think one of those in France. France. Mm. I think one of those in France. Like I heard, all this shit was just like a distraction because, like, a uh, freaking Epstein. You ever heard? You heard that shit with Jeffrey Epstein, bro? Yo, I just heard about it, but I didn't hear too much about it. Like I heard, like you know who Jeffrey Epstein is, though, right? Not really. All right, so all right, let me let me give you the gist of it. So basically, Jeffrey Epstein is a guy, right, who was a child sex uh, human trafficker. He was traffic children, and they put them on this island in the in a uh, in a uh, thousand. Was was it? It was in the Virgin Islands, also, his own private really island. Because I was hearing like hella celebrities and whatever were, yeah. f- were funding that shit. So ba- yeah, that's what that's basically why. Cause like I heard like Beyonce and Jay Z. I heard they went over there. And shit. Bro, there's mad people like freaking the presidents, like Bill Clinton was over there supposedly, and like he would film them doing shit with these kids. And then when they went on trial, because he got arrested for ha- like human trafficking, when he went on trial, like he was about when he was about to go on trial, he died in jail. But they said he killed himself. But like Yo. the person that did the autopsy said it wasn't like a, it was like somebody strangled him, not like he hung himself. Well, not so somebody because he was about to tell the world like who who was actually over there. Like he has proof. Like yo, all these people. Also, he was about to just he was about to rat on everybody. He fuck yeah, he else. said if I'm going down, all y'all niggas going down with me. And they was like, nah, we gonna yo, kill this nigga. Oh, what? I didn't know that part. Throw that motherfucker called like a heart attack or some shit. No, bro. He I didn't kill... know my man got strangled. Bro, something happened in jail. Like he was supposed to. Like nobody believes that so he really killed him. In jail. Yeah. These is bro. They said they they put like a a Russian mobster as his roommate, like some random Russian guy. Yeah, the cops said some kind of. Yeah, yo, get this guy out of here real quick. He said, "Oh, I don't see nothing, bro." Bro, cause they like there was a picture of Barack Obama and his kids like on an island, and there's a building on on Epstein's island that's like known for it. It's like a building with like a little bl- uh, gold like uh, top on it, and you see in the background of Barack Obama's picture with his kids. You see the shit right in the background, and they're like, "Nah, this shit gotta be fake." But I don't know. I don't. Nah, I don't know about all that actually, shit, bro. That's actually crazy. I don't know if if that shit be true though. I, what the whole Epstein thing? I don't know if it's like. I heard it was true though. I know no, that that whole case is true, but I don't know if like actually like the the higher up people w- went down there and did nah, shit with these kids. I dead ass think that shit is true. Cause like oh, that shit's crazy. It, it's like how not like I see I heard I hear hell about politicians all of that shit celebrities going over there funding giving him money yeah for that mm-hmm. and then i know he just dies yeah it's like it, motherfuckers were scared to get exposed because like just imagine like because if they get exposed they're the they're the top of the top then it's they're over, gonna they're all it's over for us basically i mean donald trump was in that shit too probably. yeah that's what i heard him freaking every, bro donald trump bill clinton the clintons that's all so the weird bro. Actually, that's just so weird to me bro like a whole island for on some Yes, Some slavery kids, bro. Bro, that's sick, bro. That's what I'm saying. But it's like, uh, it's it's that. See, shit like that, bro. It just makes me think, like, yo, what's really going on for us? Nah, 
that makes you think like, yo, that shit's happening in other places and motherfuckers don't even know. That's what I'm saying. Like, think about it. Propaganda, bro. Like, we don't... happen in motherfuckers' random little apartments, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, but it just, like, think about it. Like, why would they accuse all these old, like, these higher people? Because, like, it's just, it's just weird how... I think some shit has to do with money. You think so? Some shit. Because I feel like... Because you, you know you know all the shit with, like, the Illuminati and shit like that. Do you believe in that shit? I do. I think... Bro, I just saw a video. It was like a Disney character, right? Yeah. It was like, it was like, um, it was like a lie detector. She said some kind of, is it true that all Disney like characters are all like part of the Illuminati? She was like, no. Lady was like, oh, are you saying no because you can't tell me? She was like, no. Then the lie that she came out, she said inconclusive. Really? Yeah. Bro. Like, bro, a Disney character that's supposed to be like sick, like like seventeen, like like, like are, part of the Illuminati. Are they saying like the cartoon characters, or are they saying like like the um no, the actual, actual the, the real life people? Yeah. Oh, see, the only way I believe in the Illuminati is because of you ever heard of like that Bohemian Grove shit? You ever heard of that Bohemian Grove? Yeah, you ever heard of that place? No. Nah. So it's a place in like California where supposedly it's a campground, like in the woods where. Like, you can't go there. Like, it's like, there's literally no trespassing, but it's an actual place. And there's, like, that's where all, like, the elites go, all, like, the president, past presidents, famous people, they go there and they have, like, a big-ass meeting. Mm. But, like, some guy recently, or, like, a while ago, actually went in there and, like, took pictures. And it was, like, a, there was, like, a, there was, like, fires. It was all in robes and shit like that. And there was, like, pictures of this shit. Hey, yo. And, like, there was, like, there was, like, doing, like, a ritual with, like, a big-ass owl. And that's, like, the only way I would think that, like, Illuminati is real. Because, like, how do you explain that shit? That's fucking weird. Nah, that is weird. Especially if it's actual place and, like, niggas is known you know, to go where, there. You know where was this place at? It's in California. California? Yeah, like, in the woods. Like, every, like, all past presidents, like, Barack Obama's been there, the Clintons. And they just, I don't know if that's, like, it's, like, um, they go there to, like, it's, like, a meeting ground. But it's like, I don't know if they're all part of like a society, like some that's weird what, that's shit. What, that's where they go meet up at, bro. But like, oh. How did I go out there and go investigate? Nah, I mean, yo, you know how we be like, be walking through the woods and shit, I bro? I would do that. Oh, man, bro. I'll go record up. You got to go live streaming, bro. Oh, like how Kai be doing it? You got to go live streaming, bro. I'm going to try that one day. And you got and you got just, so people know that shit's not fake, bro. There's there's some haunted places in Jersey we could go to. Mm, I heard the one <laughs> the one I heard about was uh, that devil tree. Where's that at? Somewhere, but I heard if you get anywhere close to that tree. Oh yeah, I heard the you're bad, literally done up. I heard that shit like like bad shit happens you're, to you or something like that. You literally done like up. Like you get bad luck. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, I don't want that shit. Like I heard there's like a road where like if you turn your car off and turn all your lights off, like your your car moves up the like gets pushed by something. And if you put like dust on like the hood, you'll see handprints and somebody's like pushing oh, your car nah. up the road. Yeah, bro, see, that shit. And I can't fuck with that right there. And there's like a bridge where like if you throw like. I guess there was like a kid died there or something. He drowned like in the water. If you throw a coin over there, the kid's gonna throw that shit right back. Hey, if you want to see that new content, bro, let me know in the comments. Dude, I'll, see, I'll do some of those. I'm trying to go to low key. I know I sound crazy. What? Oh, move up. Uh, like an abandoned freaking, like an abandoned school. Abandoned school. See, I would, I would do that. But like, I'd, I'd be afraid of like that trespassing shit. But remember when we went to? Well, you gotta go deep. You can't go with just two or three. Uh, I think three because there's there's some abandoned places like you can actually walk into, like there's no like unless there's like like signs that says no trespassing you can still go into some no, abandoned the one that places. Says no trespass is the one you gotta go to. Oh, that's the one we gotta go to. Niggas yeah, <laughs> gonna get fucking trespassing. You got to, shit. bro. Oh my you got god, to, bro. Do you know any around here? Uh, did you ever heard of any? Nah, only one I heard I think is in I think uh, remember we went to the one in uh. I think it was called like Beverly Hill. Beverly. It was some shit we went to. It's me, you and Ish. It's Janelle took us. Oh, oh, Berkeley Heights. Berkeley Heights. Yeah, Berkeley I, Heights. I heard some shit was out there. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard it was like a building or some shit. I mean, remember when we went out there and this nigga Ish almost fell down the fucking cliff and shit? It was a shit? landslide. Yeah, nigga's about to die, bro. <laughs> Imagine dying on, on, off a landslide is crazy, though. I know. That was kind of, yeah. <laughs> you ride off a landslide or avalanche? Landslide. Think about it. You get avalanche, you get fucking like covered in snow and you get, you suffocate. Shit, but what about hella dirt? Nah, I'd rather, because at least landslide, it's like, I, it's probably quick. I get hit with a rock or some shit. L- like, I don't want to suffocate in snow. Like, niggas, I heard niggas like but literally what if you get. you suffocate in dirt? Nah, I could climb out of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I could climb out of dirt. You can't climb, you imagine, bro. You just stuck and you just nah, like, you just, dr- you're basically crazy. drowning. Snow is crazy. I want to go to a ski resort, bro. 
You want to go- scream? Wait, why? <laughs> that shit don't fucking work. <laughs> Niggas gonna cause an avalanche, bro. Nah. You think the yeti? What if motherfuckers find a yeti out there? Uh, nigga. You think you think a, a yeti's real? Um, I think you know what. I think I think certain places have some shit like that. Some tall, yeah. frosty man. Yeah. Like there's a like I heard in um they like, gotta be in those cold those cold ass places though either cold ass places like Siberia or like places that were like nobody really goes to for real like maybe yeah. in the Rocky Mountains and shit like yeah. that high up in the mountains there might be some you shit think some shit like that in Antarctica oh, nah I, feel I don't like think Antarctica so. got hella weird shit on some low key Bro. it's too like what's that word to say like. Secluded, yeah, like for no weird shit to really not happen out there, bro. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, people say Antarctica is just a piece of ice, I don't think it's a piece of ice, or is it gotta be some shit under the ice? That's what I'm, no, I heard Antarctica before, like millions of years ago, used to be a rainforest. A rainforest, yeah, what because that think of crazy because think about it, fucking like back in the days, like the the the, the climate shifts like mm-hmm. every couple thousand years, so like. Like uh the like where the pyramids of Giza are in the in the desert that used to mm-hmm. be like green land like green like like forests but then like the shit shifts and now that shit gets hotter. So what you think that global warming is gonna have that shit change? It might completely. Uh, I, it won't be like in our lifetime, but over time it might change. I think that shit gonna be like, cause I don't know if it's gonna go back to completely forest, but I think that shit could be on some half and half thing. For what Antarctica? Yeah, it might. It depends. It was gonna take like thousands of years though. Cause like, look, there's like some shit in New York, right? It's a timer. Yeah, is that shit still it? on, bro? Yeah, shit still. That shit's actually real. Really? I thought that, bro. They don't talk about that shit no more. What? Wait. Well, I how think, much I time think, do we got left? I think it ends in 2050. Oh, 2050. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was like recently. I'm like, yo, what the fuck about to happen? I mean, bro? that's still kind of. I know that shit's. It's set into global warming's irreversible. Oh, 20, bro. Think I mean, about like, it. You, like soon it hits that and we haven't done nothing, then it's done up. Bro, this shit's fucked already. Did you ever realize like the last two years we haven't had like snow for real? Yo, you, like the weather right now is it's been, weird. It's been, yo, it's just been like, like. Kind of huge. It's like not, it's not humid. It's just like one day it'll be mad hot and then one day it'll be mad cold. Yeah. So like, it, like you never know for us, but there's no snow. I don't like this Jersey weather, bro. That's nah, just bro. Scary. People, if y'all live in, let me know where y'all live at, bro. Bro, because that groundhog lied to us, bro. When was Groundhog Day? Was that shit? days ago. It was? <laughs> it said six more, six more weeks of winter. Man, I don't feel cold, bro. I ain't lying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. But I mean, it, it's been, it's, I think it's good. Like, it gets cold random days. So I, I don't fucking know, bro. Like, this shit's be fucking, yeah, this shit, shit be that weird, shit rain, bro. shit was raining today. It was pretty warm. Yeah, like, hot, I hate hot rain. I'm not gonna lie. Hot rain's disgusting. Yeah, but in the morning, it be brick as fuck. Yeah. Hey, bro. I just, I just hope that the world, niggas is saying like the world is coming closer to the end. Like, we're just, like, especially with all the shit that's been going on, bro. Hey, all, all I'm saying is I think, I feel like I can see some weird bullshit happening when I'm like, I'm, when I'm like old as fuck. Like, bro. I'm like, damn, I thought I was almost over with, bro. <laughs> like, and why, right, when I'm about to, like, be at peace with myself? It's like some shit happening. Like, I heard, like, um, I heard, I heard hella shit about Jupiter, how that shit saved us from, like, hella big ass meteors. With Jupiter? Yeah, like, if, like, if you look up, it's like a, a crater on Jupiter. Yeah. And it's, like, the size of Earth. So, I'm guessing, like, a planet hit that shit or, or something? An asteroid the size of Earth. Oh, well, like, like, block. Jupiter and that shit like blocked it from hitting us like yes. that shit was, wow that's crazy <laughs> yo <laughs> what thing happened like the 1900s though oh really that's recent bro if you think about that's it that's like what a couple hundred, 50... that's recent for an asteroid if you think about it bro bro that's what I'm saying bro like shit shit be yo there's gotta, a lot bro, of weird shit you gotta, you gotta really think that planet bro that shit be saving us from a lot of d- like dangerous situations is that the biggest planet now? is it that yeah, or Saturn that's the biggest one oh, that's the biggest one I always thought Saturn was nah it just got them big ass rings yeah that's true but Yo, I seen this shit the other day, right? Or I seen this shit today. They said that China found an uninhabited island filled with dinosaurs. Right? So Jurassic Land? Bro, let me let me tell you the story. Let me tell you the story, Jurassic right? Jurassic Land? Bro, it's some crazy shit. So this was a couple of days ago. A woman went to a, a nail, sa- nail salon. Like, you know, normal nail salon. There's like a bunch mm-hmm. of Chinese people. So she's getting her nails done. And then all the ladies suddenly just stop working. And they look at the news. And like they don't know, she don't know what's going on. It's Chinese news, so she she can't understand what they're saying. So she gets Google Translator out, and what it says is like they found dinosaurs. And then she gives, she looks at the lady. She's like, "Is this what they're talking about?" She's like, "Yes." So basically, China had an expedition of fifteen people to this uncharted land somewhere out in the world, and they found like actual dinosaurs. 
Like they found dinosaurs on the thing, and they found is it dinosaurs some some type of dinosaurs? No, they found like real life living dinosaurs like on oh, this island. Like we it's, need to see videos, cause bro, like look, but I mean, I'm gonna tell you why though. So like they got they went there, and it's like, uh, it's a it's a whole new island they never seen before, and they said they found like so far they found two new species of dinosaur dinosaurs, and one of those species of dinosaurs is something. It's like a killing machine, something we never seen before, something like crazy. In the water? No, it's like a. It, it's on land. Oh, well, I see. Oh, well, I see even worse. But it's like it's never seen it before. But like as they're doing the expedition, people started the, the 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 scientists started like disappearing on the island. Like it was at fifteen, now they're down to like ten, supposedly. But it's weird because if you look it up, they think it's like a whole like conspiracy theory because we're not getting that. But it's like, what if they're suppressing that knowledge because they don't want us to know that there's new land everywhere? So wait, are you, so are you trying to say like they're like making this up in a way? No, I'm saying that it might have. See, I don't, I don't know if it actually happened for real because like they, I don't have. We don't like because niggas is mad at China for some reason. What are they making this shit up to distract us from them doing that weird ass shit that they just did? It could be that too, or they could have actually really found some shit and like, like because. People think that the earth is way bigger than it really is. Like, a lot of people think that the earth is huge. And, like, they're just been, like, the whole time we've been lied to, like, how I the mean, map I looks. I mean, I think it's just as big as we've seen. It's just hella but, undiscovered But, places. like, think about it. If I show you, you, I show you a map of earth, right? I say, okay, this is a this is a map of earth, right? I could be lying to you. It's just, it you, ne- you never experienced it yourself. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, it's like, what if, like, they've been just trying to keep us away from the secret and China exposed it and now... They're trying to like that's why they're not telling us about it around the world. Because think about because also recently Japan just recounted his islands. They found seven thousand new islands in Japan. How the fuck do you just not realize that's that? That's what I'm saying, bro. How do you just find these that niggas out, bro? found seven thousand new islands? So if you can find seven thousand new seven thousand islands, because they you, you have to they have to recount the islands. It was at six thousand, now they're at fourteen thousand. Nah, cause uh nah, that I think like what's that shit? The Pacific Rim? Yeah, the Pacific um, Ocean. Ocean? From Japan to like Alaska, yeah, isn't that a big ass body of water? Yeah, it's the Pacific Ocean. So you're saying that's where they found the other remaining lands? I don't, I don't know where they find it at. Found it. They could have went somewhere else, but they so like China say, is says. It, is it near dumb or that's just like? I don't know. They just they just found island. Where these motherfuckers found this undiscovered land next to us. That's what I'm saying. They're saying it's next to them. I don't know, bro. Like this is. I think that's why niggas is like getting is mad at China because they're trying to expose like the world to us. Because they always been they always been acting weird, bro. Yeah, but I mean, like, look, we never know like what is really out there for us, especially with the world, bro. All our lives we've been taught this one thing, but see, like, what if it's something different? Seeing is believing, bro. That's what I'm saying. You would never know until you see that shit for real. So, so like, I can't I can't say it's real for real, but like, it's just why would they make some shit up like that? Because bro, they trying to start some shit on some on some low key. So do you believe that they actually found new land? Nah, you don't think so. I don't think so. Cause look, let me let me let me. Let I don't me know th- about that dinosaur shit. See, maybe they, maybe they found some type of creature though. But a whole dinosaur, I think I think it's a cat. Cause think about it, right? If I you would never like I said, you would never know until you go see it yourself. So this whole time, they could have been lying to us how big the earth really is. It could be a lot bigger than we thought it was. Like, huge. That shit could be... Because cause I remember Ish was telling me... Ish said this on the last podcast, bro. You know how big dinosaurs were? How did they fit on earth if it was that big? They were like 50 feet on some shit. I know. Dinosaurs was huge, right? So, like, if the earth is the same size it was back then, how did all them dinosaurs fit on earth if they was way bigger than us? Think about it. We have 7 billion people. How many dinosaurs do you think there were on Earth? I'm telling you, the Earth could really do... Fit, the Earth could really fit a lot. And don't forget, the land back then was way... Structured way different, so... I mean, what? Like Pangea and shit? So put, oh, yeah, so like that shit's hella land put together, so you could death, dead ass put hella big ass don, dinosaurs on that shit. So you think... I don't know, bro. I feel like the world is way bigger than we think it is. It, nah, it is. Like, like I think there's like more... More to it? Yeah. I mean, don't forget, like, the water's honestly the biggest shit we haven't... I don't think we're ever going to discover all the water. Like, think about it. They could put stuff on maps that we did. They could put... They could not put stuff on maps. Until until they probably start doing some some, some navigation shit underwater. Yeah. That would be tough. Nah, I don't know about that. That shit would be scary as fuck, though. What, if they go in the water and shit? Or some, or some, under, or some underwater... Excavations? Train, train traveling shit. <laughs> That's kind of... Oh, like, fucking... What, are you talking like Wakanda or some shit? 
Like they make like underwater I think, trains. I think that's what they was doing, right? Yeah. Hella tubes just going through. Yeah, like do that. I I'm gonna be fine with that. I would be if I know that shit's safe as fuck, bro. I heard they had shit like that. They just Imagine not telling just us. Imagine just going. Deep as fuck in the water, hella blackness. <laughs> going like going straight down or going like like, like through the water. Straight down. I don't know. I think they're making new technology like that, bro. Like you heard of the you heard of the new building that they're making in Saudi Arabia, bro? No. Bro, they're making a huge like the biggest building in the world. Like it's like a big box. And it's like it's so big you could fit twenty Empire State buildings in there. Twenty Empire State buildings. Yes. In one building. Like it's four hundred meters tall, four hundred meters wide, four hundred meters long. Why are they doing that, bro? Because they're trying to they're making it like you you remember in the Hunger Games, like the big that dome where you can like it's like holograms and shit. They can like make stuff look how it is. So so in, so let me let me explain, right? You trying so, to say these motherfuckers gonna put a dome? No, it's not a dome, but it's like in the building they could they're using new technology and holograms, holographics to like make a new world in that building. So it's like it's like um, CGI or CGI or like, what's the word? AI technology where like it make like they can make new realities in there. Like they could like you could wake up and be in Pangea, like an avatar. So on some, what's that shit? on some metaverse shit. Yeah, like a metaverse like that. It's just gonna be just like that. So when but you like, but like it's reality though. It's real life, but once you go in that building, it could be a completely different world. Like they can make it look different. And like people could live in there. So it's just gonna be like a like a big ass, just wide, skinny structure going tall up. It's not skinny. It's pretty. It's like four hundred meters, like long. That's what I'm saying. That shit gotta be. Or four hundred. Is it meters? Yeah, four hundred meters. I, I, no, not meters. That shit gotta cover hella land, bro. It's bro. You could fit twenty Empire State buildings in that shit, bro. Just imagine tall ant, like just stack them in there. And like once you go in there, like one morning you might wake up. It might be like the 1900s Wait, so like what, or eighteen hundreds. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be like um. It's like a tourist attraction. It's gonna be a tourist attraction. Yeah, it's like a it's like a building in Imagine a city. That should be an apartment. You could live there, and it's like you there's there's gonna be jobs in there, like um like shopping centers, and there's gonna be some areas where like you can go in like a you can go into outer space and one. It's gonna look like outer space. Like it's gonna be fucking trippy, bro. But that's scary though, bro. Wait, where's Saudi Arabia? That's just Middle East. Middle East. Yeah, that's not yo. Is that scary to you? If we that, that we could do that's that kinda, shit. That's actually lit to me. Think about that's it, bro. Not scary to me. Like. That's like some that's some but simulation like, what, shit. But like nigga. only if it, if you're able to go in there and change how you want shit to look. If it's just what they want to put out there, then I don't know. That's a little scary. You think so? Like, all right, what if they give you like some shit with like, all right, we're gonna give you goggles to walk in there with, like uh like three D goggles. I mean, I I don't know how they could. They say this is gonna be done by twenty thirty. Twenty thirty. Yeah. So like what seven years? I'll I'll go there, bro. That should look kind of. That should kind of sound kind of fun. Think of how, that shit gonna cost hella bro. Oh no, that's it's like Dubai, bro. That's probably like the equivalent to going that shit's to Dubai. Cost money. Oh, that's worth it, bro. Just imagine you just go in there, you just like in Pangea from like Avatar. Like you just see a bunch of nice. It looks just so nice. I'm not in gonna there. want to leave. That's what I'm saying. But like, yo, what if you get like? See, that's the thing. What if you, you forget? Be careful, you're gonna be like, damn, I don't want to be. I don't want to leave. Nigga, like, you might forget you're that you're in like stuck, a. You're gonna be stuck in there. You gonna think you're in a simulate? You technically in a simulation. Bro, it's a trap. It's a trap. Basically. Tourist trap. It's a tourist trap, bro. That shit's crazy. Cause like think of it. I remember I talk about this all the time on the pod, bro. They say if we can create technology like graphics that look like real life, then we could be in a simulation right now. I mean, we're already doing the shit where motherfuckers is, is doing the, the AI generated stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That and then the AI like talking, like you can make some like mimic literally someone talking. Yeah, yo, you seen that the shit? Joe bro? Biden, the Trump shits. I'm like, yo, this shit sound too. Real, that's bro. What I'm, bro, that shit is crazy. Cause like, imagine they've been doing this shit the whole time, bro, and then just been tricking us, bro. Like, I seen some shit. Like, there was like a Joe Rogan podcast, and they did that whole AI shit where they pretended of like him making like a conversation, and he didn't bro, really say that. <laughs> it was some shit with Joe Rogan, and it was some shit with Joe Rogan and some other guy talking about Playboy Cardi. I was like, hey, get the fuck out of here, that's bro. Just, yo, that shit's weird, bro. Tell me that shit not weird. That shit is weird. Like, imagine they do that shit on TV. Man, they start doing that shit in school. Like what? Like they start putting like some fucking AI type voice teacher in school for kids. I can see that. That's yo. We in the future, low key, bro. We definitely are. Bro. Like it's, it's kind. Of, I'm getting a little overwhelmed, no, no, bro. Nobody, nobody's able to settle, bro. You gotta. It's like too much stuff going around, bro. Niggas, niggas got AIs that can do your homework for you. We got fucking. We got war bro, going that's the on. Thing, and bro, shit. I was watching something, bro. Like all these people, like people that like like like. Medical people, right? Yeah. How do you feel about them people cheating on tests and stuff like that? 
<laughs> like actual niggas like, like getting people a doctor. People that's going to be a major for like being a doctor and shit like that. How do I feel about them cheating on like, their test? Like finessing on. Damn, like, that's a good question. I wouldn't want them cheating on their test. like, damn, bro, I ain't going to hold you. Like. They shouldn't like cheat you on me. Like you about <laughs> to just cheat your way, and then, then when it comes to time to play with somebody's life, uh, you forget. Like nah, bro. Let me check check real quick, bro. <laughs> nah, See, bro. yeah. Oh, that's a good question. That's a good point. I'm not gonna lie, because them niggas, bro, they can't Res- be cheating. Respectfully, not to be one of those people. If you if you're like in medical school and stuff like that, and you're cheating. You're just you just you just want niggas to die. You just you just want people to die. You just bro. killed like five people right there by cheating. By by getting that one answer right on the check, I you just I, kill five I niggas. I think that's the only like major or class like you really should not be like cheating. Cheating on you that's should fine. try to learn that shit. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like they do. I feel like they have ways where you can't cheat. The science stuff, science, you should actually try to learn that. Like, shit. Like, there's no way you can get through med school without like. There's no way you could cheat your way through med school. There's no pot. There's no fucking way. <sighs> I know there can't be a way. <laughs> bro, all those biology people, like, bro, the people that like study them little organisms and shit like that. Yeah. Like, I don't know how the fuck they do that shit, bro. What do you mean? Like, like that's their that's their passion. Like, I was watching the video like about how like they was like trying to learn like the neurons, how the how the neurons like move. Yeah. Like actually, like the the little neurons moving, like they did like a microscope and shit. Yeah. And it's like this um, you ever heard of? I think it's a water bear. Uh, wait, it's like a, a cell, in like it's in, a cell in our body. It's called, it's called wor- a water beer. Yeah, literally that shit's like invincible. <laughs> really? That shit's invincible. That How's shit it? cannot die. Like they found that organ- organism like in lava. Really? And shit like that. That shit been there for like decades. Like so, it's in our body though. Yeah. So see, shit like that, like learning that type of shit like that, bro. I'm like, yo, if you're going to school for like doing science and shit like that, bro. I feel like that shit, like that type of stuff, is stuff you really need to like learn. Yeah, that's true. Now, nah, getting it like when you're getting your doctor's degree, you should not be cheating. People <laughs> like going There's to med too school. Many details, that's why I, I fucked up in biology, bro. I'm like, bro, I can't comprehend all of this shit, bro. Yeah, I guess, but like, yeah, certain. Oh, I get it, bro. I believe that's it, bro. Certain jobs, it will be hard. It's you have to like really have a passion for. Like being a yeah. doctor, you can't just fucking just. Oh, I want to like just wake up one day. You want to be a doctor? Like you actually gotta like want to like help people. Like you heard of that that uh, Chinese guy that that's like a that's like a he was like a Navy SEAL doctor and an astronaut. Like I don't fucking know all that. Bro, nah. The the story about this nigga is crazy, you gotta be bro. On your books like twenty four seven, bro. To be an astronaut and you said a doctor, bro. Said- this nigga, he like he was a Navy SEAL first, so he's like a trained sniper. Like Navy still like lieutenant something, and then he got his doctor's degree. So now he's a actually he got his PhD. So he's a doctor, and he's like, you know what? Let me join the the space program. And now he's like, he's gonna be one of the first people to man like the mission back to the he's moon. He's smart as fuck though, bro. Like the, nah, I think learning that shit too, like the the whole space shit. Well, like astronomy. Yeah, that's that's cool though. That's a, that's a major, right? Astronomy, whatever. Yeah, you can be astronomy, but like it, there's, it, the, that that what he's doing, I don't think is astronomy because a lot of biologists be ash- astronauts. Like really? bio- yeah, a lot of biologists, because they need to study like not just life here, but like I guess like there's like certain like branches in biology, mm-hmm. but like no, I, that NASA shit, that shit's tough though. That's what I'm saying. I, bro. I salute those people that learn that shit. That shit's far. D- yo, I salute them niggas that go to space, bro. Eee, like his story. They be up there for months. You think they up there right now? I mean, there's a space station, so they probably yeah. Are. I think it's a space station, but I don't like. I don't know why they uh, um like we haven't like trying to go to like another planet like. I don't know why we haven't gone back to the moon. I heard we're going back in 2024. That's what that he's the he's the one leading it, the Asian guy. But see, I, that's China going back, right? No, no, he's he's American. He's, he's American? just like American Chinese. Oh, that motherfucker's going back. Yeah, but okay. like, yo, like his whole story, bro. I guess like when he was a kid, like his dad like uh, used to abuse him, and then there was a day like his dad was about to kill him and his mother, and then he tried to stop him. The dad, the dad pepper sprayed him in the eye, and then the guy, his father pulled out the the gun and was about to shoot his mom. But then he tried like he tried to grab him, and then the guy hit him in the head with the weight, and then he started he started telling him like, "Yo, don't do this. You don't have to do all this." And then the dad felt bad, so he was like, "You know what?" So he just ran. He just hears somebody running out the door, and then the mom called the cops, and then the kid went upstairs into his bedroom, and it's like you see like right here, he seen the attic was open, and then the nigga went. So when the cops went to the attic, you just hear gunshots because he killed the father. So then all his life he was just been scared of shit like that because of all that shit that happened to him. So he became a he went to the Navy, Navy. SEALs. Yeah, like uh, he went to be a Navy SEAL so he could like prove like yo, like life isn't that scary. 
He became a sniper. But he's a registered sniper. Like I don't think I think it's, oh, I don't think registered snipers is tough, bro. These niggas nice. And then he got his PhD at like freaking Harvard or some shit like that. And then he went. Now he's about to go into the space program. He's an astronaut now, bro. That's od. Like that shit's crazy, bro. Is like, he got a wife or kids, bro? I think so. Yeah, he has a. I think he has a wife and kids. Oh, damn, bro. How you? How you? That nigga just juggle all that, bro. I don't know, bro. Like that's just crazy, a doctor, bro. Doctor. Hella and shit. A, and an astronaut. Hella shit, bro. But I got I got a question for you, right? So would you rather be a superhero, but all the guys is also superheroes? But there's what do you mean guys like yeah, all of us, all the all the niggas, we're all superheroes with you. But there's a hundred supervillains in the world that we have to fight off. Or would you rather just be ten supervillains in the world but no superheroes? Well, no, I, it's got to be us against the world. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got to be us. But it's like. Bro, because like, we're going to get clapped if it's just 10 villains and nobody got nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you might have like one random dark side villain. So super villain, you mean like these motherfuckers got powers and shit, right? Some of them do. Some of them are just like, you know, the normal bank robbers like Joker. All right, bro. So I guess we go, all of us going to go crazy, bro. But don't we don't, we, it's not like we're all Superman. It's like we all got like one specific power. Like I might have super speed. You might just be like, could fly and be strong. So be it, bro. Nigga, we might, you think we could get down, take down a hundred niggas, bro? We, we. No, we not. You don't think so? <laughs> I think we could like we could like patrol it like a little bit. Whatever it's like eight, no, eight or nine of us. I don't even know about patrolling, bro. How many how many of us is there? It's like nine. It's like nine against a hundred. It's done up, bro. And it's like you gotta oh, yeah, the world might be shitty. I'm There's not literally like twenty people per person for per person. Twenty yeah. <laughs> and it's like there might be that means there's more chances of like the big niggas with superpowers and shit like fucking dark side. And fucking like hanging up on you, bro. Yeah, bro. Imagine getting Thanos and, and Dark Side on you, bro. Yeah, that's shit. I, that's, I don't think we could survive that, bro. I don't know, bro. It depends on the super, super, super. Yeah, superpower you got though. But you, but you would rather pick. I'd rather pick that just because I'm going. At least I'm going out swinging, what superpower bro. What I need though to be at least a little successful. What would you pick? Any superpower, right? Yeah. Uh, but who who would you model your superpowers after? Don't make me get cheesy, bro. No, don't say Goku. Not like that. <laughs> Niggas about to say Goku. Just destroy, destroy the planet, bro. Nah, bro. Uh, let me see, bro. To give a good fighting chance. Like, um, what can you possibly be? <laughs> like, against 100 of them niggas. I might just be... I think I would pick fucking, like, something with your mind. Like, uh, Professor X or some shit like that. I'm not going to hold you. You're going to have to be like Superman. I'm sorry. One of us might be Superman. I give one of us Superman. It's me, bro. You want to be Superman? We're gonna give Superman, you that power. Bro. Nah, I right. if, if I can't be Superman, then I have to be like um. I think I'll be cool with like. I was about to say Spider Man. That's clean. That's what clean. I say Spider Man. I think he could do a lot on his own, bro. That's not bad. That's not bad. Like super. That's not bad. I think you could survive a decent amount, bro. Because I was gonna say Deadpool, but then I feel like bro, I ain't gonna do everything with just my fucking guns and swords, bro. Yeah. And then I need, you just I need, regenerate. I need, I need some. Nah, actually, I'll scratch that. I have powers like Jean Grey. Who is that? Is that's the that's like Wolverine's like his girlfriend. Oh, show, like, oh you know what okay. I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hers done up. Isn't she like the the fuck? Isn't she like she's Scarlet really, Witch or something? She's really like, yeah, she's literally like one of the most cheesiest motherfuckers in the whole shit, bro. If anything, I'll have like some magic powers. Like, like uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, you said, yeah, you said Scarlet Witch like, um, I forgot that, Wanda? Uh-huh. Strong as fuck. Uh-huh. I think I'll have some shit like that's that. That's the reality, that's the reality bend this shit. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think I, I could do, I think if we have, we might need somebody with Superman powers. We need somebody literally, with that. We, literally, we need each person at least somebody to have like a the stones, the power of the stone, bro. Oh, just need one stone. Each person, at least out of the five people, somebody has to have at least one stone. That's bro. clean. That's clean. And then the other people could just have whatever the fuck. All they right, get, all bro. right. You you seen? Yo, did you watch the the Flash trailer, bro? I did. Are you excited, bro? How, how no, do you feel? You're not excited, I'm bro. Not excited. Why? But I'm gonna watch it though. Why don't you think it, you don't think it's gonna be good? Bro, I don't know. I don't really like that Flash. I don't, he looked trash to me. They, I, I heard they was trying to make it the nigga from the fucking show. What do you mean? Like, put him in or, like, make it just like it? No, like, have the nigga that, from the show Flash, be the Flash. Of because the of, whole, oh, you know how he be yeah. doing. But, like, yo, the movie. Even he's ass to me. You think so? Yeah. Bro, but I just think that, I think the Bro, movie. Bro, because me, when I say the Flash, I got, like, an image. Like, I ain't gonna hold you to the guy that did the Flash, because he kind of Asian looking to me. Oh, yeah. I want some American, like, 
blonde boy. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the berry. Yeah. That's the berry. I know for like the comics and yeah, shit. And, yeah, yeah, I get you. And like, the little shows and shit, bro. Yeah, like the fucking DC AMU movies. And like the way, I don't, I don't but like I mean, the way the Flash is. Like the way he run, that shit has No, no, it do look weird. It look like he's like, he's like, he's like lunging. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what is it, bro? But I mean, I like how they're making like it's like it's Flashpoint basically. It is though. Like so it's t- like I like. See. But um, you see how they snuck in the little the girl the woman Superman the Supergirl. Yeah, that they they he could do that though because it's another universe. So I I let that slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I let but, that slide. What else? I, what else? I didn't, I didn't really like that bat that new Batman that Michael Keane that old fuck. Yeah, but that, remember <laughs> in the remember in the freaking in the TV show like it's his father. Like in the DCAMU movie, when yeah, he goes, but I don't think he's gonna be like his father in in this. Sh- you don't think or, so? Well, who is he? He's gonna. Nah. He's older than him though, because it, because in the beginning, but freaking nah, that, Ben nah, Affleck. No, nah, they literally have to do a whole nother Batman for to for it to be Batman to do Ben Affleck's father. Yeah, that's why they have Michael Keaton. in Nah, this he shit. can't do it. He why can't, he can't do it? Because he's already he's Bruce Wayne in his in his universe. But but he in you that mean, universe you, he's you the father. Mean, what do you mean? Like remember, like in the DC animated one. When he went, when he did the Flashpoint, and went back. Nah, that was that was just a different Batman. That's what I'm saying. They, they're probably gonna have a whole another Batman in this movie to portray Batman's father as Thomas Wayne. Cause you he think had, so? He has to have like a whole black and red like Batman suit. If they don't do that, then oh they okay, yeah, I know what you mean. If they I do know Michael Keaton as Batman's father, then I'm gonna be mad as fuck. I ain't gonna hold you. Really? Yeah, I'll be fine with that. I'm cooling with it. Oh, bro, he, that suit is ass, bro. Nah, they do that. What if they? What? If, <laughs> nah, nah they, they need a dupe, bro. If that you, black and red suit go hard, bro. The, you, you ever watched the animated, the Flashpoint? Bro, I watched all them shit. You watched bro. it, right? I watched it twice. You remember how he looked, right? That shit was hard. He needs to look just that like black and that, red was. Bro. Nah, the, with the black eyes. Yeah. You see, I mean, not the red, the red eyes, eyes. Red eyes. Red eyes. With the guns. Yeah, I don't think they're making the storyline the same though. Like you know how the story it was like, it was like Aquaman versus Wonder Woman, like their worlds fighting each other. Oh, they changed it. I think it's like when they they're changing it to like where there's like no meta humans, but like General Zod just comes and invades Earth. Nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah. I think they had a Loki changed up a lot because I don't know who did that Superman shit. Well, that whole universe. what the show or no? That um, you heard like that Superman? He's not gonna play Superman no more, right? Yeah, I heard. I think that whole shit fucked it all up. I mean, that's why they put the girl there's in. There's a there's a cameo I think of him in the movie actually with the with the with the the gray cape. In which movie? The The Flash. Oh really? I think. I mean, you never know. He supposed to play like when Superman came back from the dead and shit like that. Uh Wait, in the like Wait, you talking about like the in, the in, new in Superman? The, in, in this Flash, I think they're going to show a, some, a Superman. Oh. Cuz you have to low key. Yeah. Cuz I don't know if you remember in the in the cartoon, bro. It was like a Superman, but he was like skinny and shit. Yeah, he was weak cuz he, he was, was like wet. Yeah. That's yeah. what that's what they did with the girl. Oh, you think Alter did that as a replacement? Like no, they did like they're making it as like a alternate universe. So like in that universe, Superman is a woman. Mm. So like that so like how they lock Superman up, that's what they did with that girl. That's why I'm not I'm not I'm cooling with that. Cuz I look kind of tough. They gotta put a man Superman in there too, bro. Not yet, but like that, like once it happens, they're just they're like this is like um buying them some time, because it's not it's not really Superman. That's just like another universe, because you know he changed the timeline and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're just trying to buy some time for that. But I'm excited. I'm ready for that. Wait, shit, when's bro. it come out? June. June. I'm probably gonna watch that shit with Jay again. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see that shit, bro. That shit gonna be fire. Well, I'm really excited for it, though. What that, that Batman two movie when it comes out though? When's that coming out? And the Deadpool movie that's coming out. Isn't that doesn't Deadpool come out next year? I think, yeah, I think, I think sometimes I see this year. No, I think it's next year, like around this I, time. All I know that shit's rated R. Is that like the first one rated R? No, the first one, I think the first one was rated R. But for some reason they had to specify because a lot of people thought that shit was going to be like rated M. That shit not going to be, I mean, I, I heard Wolverine nah, go be in that I bitch. I to see all the, all the blood, all of that shit. I'm, if you watch the Old Man Logan movie, bro, you ever seen that? No, nah, I never watched that. I heard bro, it was fire. that shit was bloody, bro. Really? Like, he was going crazy. Basically, like towards the end. He's like just fighting like a like a young copy of him, and he's old as fuck. Really? And they just stabbing the shit out of each other. Oh, I think I, I do remember. I remember seeing that part. And his daughters in that shit. Yeah. yeah. Damn, bro. I don't know if they're gonna put her in this one. So I'm saying I don't know if they're gonna do with this one. I, I don't know. The, the 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 next lineup of movies is kind of weird, bro. Especially after watching this Ant Man shit, bro. Everything is weird. I it's feel like, like I feel like we're starting over. I feel like it's because of um, I feel like it's because the act, actors and shit they be fucking up with the their contracts. Not even. I, think, I feel like the way they want to make the movies come out. Mm, I get you. Cause, I think because I, I think they at first they didn't really wasn't sure they was gonna have that, that nigga Wolverine really the movie and shit like that. Yeah, but I mean, they he's he's gonna be in it though, right? So I mean, at least he's in it. I just feel like I I think 
like we're like you know when they first the first like superhero movie what was it Iron Man yeah that's like the beginning I think with this Ant-Man movie that's what it's gonna be like this is the beginning of the yeah, next saga yeah I think saga. they call it like phase 5 phase 5 phase 6 or whatever it's gonna be a bunch of movies like I think it's gonna be another Thor type of movie coming out yeah or I think it might be a show I think if, I don't know what's coming out but it ain't, it ain't that exciting anymore I don't know bro I've been watching a lot of movies lately like uh, I remember I wanna talk to you about like the Hunger Games but I rewatched the, all the Hunger Games series bro you rewatched all of them? All the movies. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Hunger Games is one of the best like movie series of like the the decade, bro. Movie series. All like right. the movie, like the movie, like trilogies. That's the one of the best ones of the decade, right. bro. You know it's a good movie trilogy. What? I know I sound kind of old school. Lord of the Rings. I like Lord of the Rings. That shit's a good. But movie I don't. Trilogy. I don't. It's too old for me to remember. But like, bro, this like, did you do you remember? You watch all the Hunger Games movies? I think I only watched like the first two, three. I got. I, I remember. I remember the hell out of the first one though. No, the first one was good, bro. But just think about it. that's a crazy ass thing. These you, a bunch Kat, of Katniss Everdeen, bro. A bunch of kids out in the ring just killing each other. It's just sick, bro. It's sick. Like I remember, that's, I'm, an, that's some Epstein type shit, bro. Low key, bro. Like that. Like, <laughs> I don't think they can make movies like that no more, bro. Like these niggas actually just just that's burking Epst- each other. That's some Epstein type shit, bro. That's sick. You're literally just watching kids kill the, kill each other for your for amusement. Food. For your amu- amusement. <laughs> I know these niggas just starving. They just they just trying well, they, to. Nah, that's that's really some crazy. They picking kids out of poor places and be like, you wanna you wanna just you make some money? Go kill somebody. Like that's fall. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's terrible. And then the in se- a way, it's like a reality, a you reality th- thing. You think so? Like, nah. If you want, if you if you wanna. Like, I don't know. Like, you have to make sacrifices to go up in life? But not yeah. like that, though. Maybe unless it's, like, like signing your soul away, some type shit. I mean, hey, bro, I think a lot of people make sus- made a lot of success in their life yeah. by offering somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Most definitely, my nigga. A lot, a lot, especially the rappers, bro. But, like, like you, you remember the second movie, right? That oh. shit was even crazy. That's the one where she had to go back because... Oh, yeah, I think, I think I remember that one. Yeah. And I don't think she wanted to... She didn't want to do it. Because that that was the start of the revolution. And was she was um Peter was he gonna be her partner or it was yeah sure it was it was both of them because because it was like a the seventy fifth anniversary so like they they had to fight the winners they weren't fighting kids no more they was fighting grown adults that won the games but All like from before yeah but like they had like but like the whole plan was that Katniss and Peter have to live because they're starting a revolution so everybody half the people that was in there knew like not to kill them. Mm. That's what, like, oh, but there was a couple of them, like the, like the niggas from like the the higher up sectors. That wanted to off them. Yeah, because they because they was with the capital side. But yo, I didn't realize like if you really watch that movie, bro, that shit's really, that shit could be like not based on real life, but like you can you can you can kind of see real life in there because there's a lot of propaganda in that movie. Nah, I, I'm nah, I see that. That's what I'm saying. The thing where you said like um, you got to make a sacrifice to win. Yeah, I feel like that's a low key lesson in the movie too. Mm. Not necessarily you have to kill somebody, but like you gotta sacrifice some shit. Yeah, bro. Like, like all that whole movie, like that third movie was all about just showing people what the other side is doing wrong. And then the fourth movie, there was I don't know if you, I don't think you watched it. There, yo, there's so many people died in that movie. And you know, you know Katniss's sister, right? Like Primrose. Uh, yeah. So the reason why she went into the Hunger Games is because she saved her sister. But at the last movie, her sister died because the people that she was fighting for, like like the general she was fighting for, called on like a a, a bomb strike and killed her sister Be, to make it seem like it was I, the fucking capital. Was it that one or the third one? I think we went to the movie theaters to see one of them before. Might have been the third one. I think it was the third one because was it was it at the end where like she was looking up? In no, the no, sky? that was the fourth one. Fourth one. That, that was, was the fourth, fourth one? one. Yeah, it was like hella shit breaking in the sky. Yes, bro. Because they did that, but she thought it was the snow nigga. That she was fighting against. She thought it was him, but it was really the other lady that she was fighting for because they tried to make it seem like they did it. And that made me think, right? No, I need to rewatch all this. Bro, bro. that shit's crazy. Like, so the people that she was fighting for, like the general and shit, she called the bombing on the Capitol to make it seem like the Capitol did it. So now everybody's against the Capitol. Mm. So now, right? Think about it in a in a normal standpoint, like a war. Think about all this shit, how we got into war, right? Niggas don't want to go to war for real. I feel like it's greed. Not, no, bro. It's not greed. It's like shit, something... Every time we go into war, something bad happens to where we like, all right, these niggas calling us pussy. Now we got to go fight war. Like That's, World War II, Pearl Harbor. Bomb Pearl Harbor. World freaking... Nah, that, what we did was 
I ain't gonna hold you was nowhere near as close as what they did to but us. But I'm just saying though, like you Yo, think all that shit was planned out? I was just watching it, bro. What with they the did Hiroshima to us? shit? Because they did the Hiroshima and then Nagasaki after that. Yeah, that's OD. Three days. They knew three, two, two places in three days. Yeah. 200,000 people in three days they killed, bro. That's a mass genocide. I know. That's why, do you think they hate us? Like on the like low? A motherfucker, bro. I think they just don't want to say I feel it. like it's still places that are affected by that shit still, bro. Definitely. There's definitely places. But like... Bro, I literally said, I could. I think that's literally the worst thing you could give somebody in your life. But like, they had to, they had you to can, do you it, though. Kill, you could stab someone 40 times, they could live. All this shit, chop their foot off. Give them some radiation sickness, it's the sickest shit you can do. But it's like, I don't know, bro. You're literally decaying. But literally, us doing that made us put us on top. Like, yo, we got this shit. Don't fuck with us. As sad as it sounds. But like, but like, like I was saying, like, do you think like some of the shit that got us into war is because we did it to make, like, we did like the 9-11. We did the, we was cause of the Pearl Harbor just so we can get the people like, all right, we want to fight now. Like, you think all that shit was planned out like by us? Because everybody thinks 9-11 was like... I think I don't know about the Pearl Harbor one, that nine eleven one, might be some fishiness with that one though. Yeah. But the Pearl Harbor one, I think it was literally just them being some dickheads. You think so? I mean, if you think about it though, I think we was be- I think we was winning the war. That's why we wasn't even in the war. Oh, they- was it? No. We just like we just got they they made us go into the war because of that. That's what I'm trying to say. Like niggas, like we planned shit on ourselves to make it seem like it was the other people. Also, we could just seem like we're the we're the, we're the yeah we're like the the. So you're saying that we made someone be like yo call bombers real quick, or like you know what if so you we we're show, not gonna we show we can show you something, or be like come because war is not about fighting like shit like that it's just about money. It's about like, who wants to show the superiorness. Not even bro, it's not even that. It's because for war you need war builds economies. Like when you go to war, it helps your economy because now you got people in work making like tanks and shit like that. You got people going to war and shit like that. It just I helps. I feel like because you got the other places that they're like type scared of you. They're like, all right, bro, you need something? Here you go, bro. You think so? We don't want you fucking us over. I don't know, bro. I don't know how the the, the Japan did it. Oh, though. move up a little bit, bro. I don't know how Japan reacted to after we did that shit. Though. Like you think? Like I always thought. Like you know how we have war movies about like American things, like in the war. You think Japan has the same shit? Yeah. Like where they fight Americans. <laughs> like 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 they just have like Bro, remember that damn Indian movie we watched? Yeah. Job, bro. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was true. There was a there was a bunch of British people, right? Yo, it was the Avengers, bro. Indian form. Bro, that shit was fucking crazy. That that was probably the best. That was like their Avengers, right? That was literally the greatest Indian movie I ever watched. <laughs> Nigga, we didn't even watch that shit. We were just fucking skimming through that hoe. That shit was, that was Bucky and a Bucky and a Captain America, bro. That's what it was. <laughs> hey yo, bro. But I got another. Would you rather question, bro? So would you rather live in a world with car-sized spiders or a new species that regularly hunts down humans? Oh, what? The spiders. You gonna pick the spiders? Bro, literally something that's literally meant to hunt me. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> but imagine a, a spider the size of a nah, car. that's actually ridiculous right there. Nigga, you can't even go outside. Like, just imagine imagine how big the freaking so webs are. Both of them are hunting me. They're not really hunting you. The spider's not actually hunting you. But, like, you, if you see a spider, I could get deep, caught up. you could get caught up by a spider. But now there's actually something out there that's hunting you. So like, there's an species. actual thing that's, like, watching you. And that you. shit could look worse than the spiders, what you're saying. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's a, it's a new creature, bro. I'm taking bro. my chances with the spider, bro. You gonna take your chances with the spider, bro? bro? I'm not getting caught by no ex-predator, bro. Oh, that's scary, though. The spiders. Bro, bro imagine it's like some... Remember that Jurassic Park movie? They, like, created, like, a hybrid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine some shit like that hunting me. Don't know. I feel like that'll make us stronger, though. No, bro. That no, make, no, make us more aware and shit. We get nah, to use our animal bro. instincts, bro. You don't think you'll see people drop here and there like fast, bro. <laughs> oh, my God, bro, bro. that shit in the movie had camouflage, bro. I know. That, imagine we, imagine that, that that species was that dinosaur, bro. Bro, but imagine you see these big-ass spiders walking around, bro. Nah, it's life-size spider, spider cars is crazy. That's a big-ass spider, my nigga. Just imagine that shit's eating a, a nigga, bro. Just remember that shit from Billy and Mandy? So, what, you going to take... But see, this is where you throw me off. You said a new species that's just meant to hunt humans. No, it's okay. It's not. It's not. But it's like, it's our natural predator. No, I don't know. But you can't change it now. It's literally meant to hunt humans. So it's meant to hunt humans? Yeah. But we can, it's not. Only a couple of us going to die. You just can't be lacking, bro. Bro, it's literally going to hunt every, every, every human, bro. It's we can still. It's not like we can't kill it. 
we can still kill it, but it's just gonna be like there's what nothing. There's nothing literally hunting us down, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. Bro, what if it's, it's as tall as your room? Then that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I don't know. I'm just hoping. Like, I'm assuming that, if something that's hunting us is not gonna be the same size as us. You never know. No, it might be. It might be you. It might be a doppelganger, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Imagine it's a doppelganger, a new species that's meant to hunt us. It literally, that shit has to be bigger than us, bro. What if it's like a humanoid creature and it could like camouflage itself into your friends? A skinwalker. Yeah, it could make it look like it it could be like ish, bro. You know this game like that, right? It's a skinwalker game. What's it called? Basically, it's like a skinwalker, and you're like hazmat suits, and a motherfucker changing to like the people's like um, skins and stuff, (laughs) and they'd be like, hey. What the fuck? And then they kill you. That shit's crazy. <laughs> is bro. it like fucking Five Nights at Freddy type of game? Yeah, kind of, bro. Kinda. It's a, it's a PC game, bro. What so the I fuck? Need, need a PC, bro. You need to get a PC set up. I don't got no. Once I get a room, bro. Like yeah, that, I gotta bro. get rid of that, that shit. shit can literally go right there. You can probably just take the top off of that on everything. Nah, I'm probably gonna get rid of that whole shit. There's too much shit there. But we'll see though. Need but to re- rearrange the room, bro. I got. Oh, since you were talking about that, I got. I got another question now. So, would you rather try to survive in the sewers? Against Pennywise or surviving the force against Slenderman? Uh, like, try to get out. Slenderman. I was going to say Slenderman too. I ain't going to lie. Because Pennywise be fucking with I your mind. I was going to say that Pennywise movie, bro. That's just creepy. That's just crazy, bro. Bro. Remember when he opened his mouth? Yes, bro. He basically just ate that girl's soul? Yes, bro. I feel like, don't that nigga be playing mind games with you and shit? I don't want that shit being done, bro. <sighs> But what does Slenderman do for I feel like getting your soul taken is, is, is somewhat terrifying, bro. Like, What does Slenderman do for real? I don't even know, bro. He just grabs you. And he then just grabs game you? Over. Oh, I just grab, I just take Slenderman then. You got to grab hella papers, though. <laughs> you got to collect hella papers to, to beat that motherfucker, bro. You got to grab hella nah, papers. Nah, bro. I'm taking Slenderman, bro. All right, that's, that's not uh, bad. I don't know, bro. <laughs> he, might, he might got something up his sleeve that I don't know about, bro. Shit, that nigga just—it's just Pennywise. He could do hella alterations, bro. I can't yeah, fuck I know. With that, bro. that nigga would fuck with my mind and shit. Just make Literally, me fear bro, everything. Remember that uh, that scene with the the, the 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 tall bully kid, bro? Yeah. Like motherfucker, he was running, and then a big ass wall of <laughs> just, bars spawned out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, nah, I don't, I don't want. The, I don't like I don't the mind game. But yo, I got I got another story to tell you, bro. So I got a question for you before I tell you the story. Do you believe in reincarnation? What do you What do you believe in? Like when we die, like what do you think happens? Like you're personal. I feel like we go into some crazy spiritual type of realm, like a like a middle crazy, ground, crazy spiritual like type of like shit we go through, bro. You think so? Yeah. Like, do you think we like stay you, there? Like or you, go you, th- you go through some type of transitioning shit. That shit is crazy though. Really? Like it looks hella. I'm gonna sound weird, like hella trippy, whatever. Cause like you're, I don't know. You like, do you think you get go back into like a human form body? Or you just stay there. I feel like you have to be chosen, or you got to be picked. I think. <laughs> I, I don't. I feel like. I feel like, you have the choice of where you want to go on or go after, go after. But like, for now, you just like in a way, like like you you determine how you want your life to be. If you want to go to hell, or, hell up or, or up. Oh really. I feel like you you have that 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 choice. I feel like I, what I think what I actually think happens is like when you die, you just reborn as yourself, but like it's like a new timeline. Nah, I because wish like it, think about I it. I wish it was that easy to say, bro. But like, cause like think about it. You know how they say there's infinite like timelines of us. So like, what if like you know when you have deja vu, you see a moment. What if you just relive that shit another time? That's what I personally believe in. I, I think know. you just re you just reborn into yourself, but you just choose a new path in life. Nah, I don't think that. I think that's too easy, bro. You think it's too easy? That's, that's too easy, bro. <laughs> but all right. that's, that's bad. I feel like that's like easy way trying to be like, yeah, I feel like I can reincarnate after like, nah, bro. <laughs> you gonna go through like some type of realm or some shit. <laughs> you're, gonna, I think, you're, you're literally gonna go through some type of realm. Like you're gonna transition through through some type of shit. Yeah. Either that or sad as the sound or blackness. That's, that shit is crazy. That's what if, what if it's what if it's blackness, but they just not they don't want to tell us to to, not, to scare us and shit. You just hear. Imagine you just get trapped in your body. Mm. That's ass. I don't want to talk about that. It just makes me depressed. But like, all right, so I got a I got a story for you, right? So this is a story about a woman in India, right? It was in 1984. Her name was um her name was Sumitra, right? So Sumitra just uh gave birth to a child in 1984, her first child with her husband. And then afterwards she started having like random like seizures and episodes where like after she the baby? Yeah, after the baby. She would just like she would like like go into like a trance and just like fall asleep and shit like that. 
and like she would have like weird dreams and shit like that. But it would happen. It was so frequent that the she lived in like a really small village, like in India, and it was so frequent that everybody in the village knows like if she's having it, what's gonna happen to her. Mm. But then one day she had a vision that said that she was gonna die in three days, right? So then on that day when she was supposed to die, she went into another trance. And everybody thought she was going to wake up, but she never woke up. And then she lost her pulse. And then the doctors of the, the town pronounced her dead after like a couple hours. But then the next morning, she wakes back up. Like her pulse is back. She wakes back up normally fine. But she acts like a di- she's acting weird. Like she's saying her name is Shiva. She's talking differently. She's like, she's from like a very poor neighborhood. So she's not really educated, but she's writing letters and shit like that. Doing mad shit that she never did before. So you're saying like it's my us spirit into her body? I t- I'll, keep, I'll, I'll get into that. So her husband is just like watching her do all this shit. And like she's just, everybody thinks it's because like she almost died. So she has brain trauma. So she's just like, you know, going crazy. All but fucked up and shit. All fucked up and shit. But then a couple of days later, a random a guy appears at their village like in a suit like a very well-dressed like man like, he looks like he has money he comes to the suit he's like oh i heard you have you guys have a woman that that be having trance like uh that be going to like spiritual trances trances or something like that can i see her and then the woman came running out and gave the guy a hug and he was like what the fuck like who is this lady and he was like oh it's me it's me and she, he was mad confused and he had a, a photo album with him so he gave her the photo album. He was like, yo, who are these people? She named everybody in there. And he's like, what's your name? He said, my name's Shiva. And the nigga hugged the girl, right? So he so he went back to the girl's husband. And he told her a story about a couple weeks ago, his daughter was killed by her in-laws in a, in a very rich like city. And her name was Shiva. And like she died on the day that that same girl, like Sumatra, died. They both died the same day. And I guess... That he found out that freaking, he found out from, I guess he found out through like certain people that there was a person going through the same shit that yeah, his, his his daughter was going through. His daughter was going through. Because his daughter used to tell him like, oh, I used to be having nightmares and shit like that. And he found out like some girl Yo. in a village was acting like weird. So he went over there and it was actually, his daughter was in that woman's body. All right, so did they check the other girl's body? She's dead. So that body's dead, dead. That body's dead. So, but that body was kind of like I don't know. It's like they. Sw- it's like she went into her body, but like like freaking PhDs from America went over there and said this is actually true. Like she literally switched bodies. So she stole the other girl's soul. I don't know what the fuck That's happened, bro. Up, bro. Or somebody took her soul out and put this other girl's soul. Like you know, she's more valuable, bro. Nah, that's fucked up, bro. That's not creep, creepy, nah, that's bro. Because like, bro, it's like, bro, if I was. Wait, hold on. That's just, that's just confusing, bro. Cause look, wait, she, that girl, because that girl, um, not the chief girl, the other girl. She so, just died randomly. She just died, like she because she always has these little seizures throughout the day. So that seizure kind of. So that seizure actually killed her, but I guess that Shiva girl made her way into her body and actually lived. Like it's yo, this shit's mad weird. Like it's literally like somebody dies, but somebody replaces her in her body. Maybe so. This is why I say like there's like a some type of realm shit, right? Yeah. Maybe the the instant, it's like two two people died. The instant there's like some type of portal. Yeah. And depending, that's what I'm saying. I feel like you don't got real control of your spirit body where that shit want to go. That's true. So maybe that shit just says I want to just swap real quick. Maybe and she just got in the way. Maybe she kicked the other one out of the body, so not the other girl's done up. That's what I'm saying. She but that's nobody to go into. Yeah, she's just in the realms, bro. Yo, that's sick, bro. That's crazy. She put her in the spirit of, spirit of time. Put her in the shadow realm, bro. Basically, bro. That's spirit ass. Of time. That's creepy though, though. Like imagine, like that's in India. That was like what forty years ago. India always got them crazy shits. Like that's like fucking voodoo, bro. Like literally, she's it's her in a new body, bro. And like she went, she left, she left that place and went to with her father as a new person. Like I think it was like it's all over. The, it was on the internet, bro. I was like, what the fuck going on? So I don't know. We, I feel I, like you. But I, I feel they, like I feel like they should do an experiment. I think they. I don't know if they did all that, but like, I don't know, bro. I just feel like whatever you believe is gonna happen to you when you die. I think that happens. That's creep. So, you, so, so you're saying you make your reality based on what you, you make believe your in. reality after you die, based on what you believe in. Possibly. So unless this is all just if a you're simulation, like, I'm gonna just see blackness. You might just get that. If you really believe that, that shit might fuck around happen. Mm. Just like how you can manifest shit. 
Mm. That's fucking ass. manifesting. Just seeing darkness. You can manifest <laughs> how you want to. <laughs> See, I feel like you can manifest what your spirit goes through, but I feel like, for like ever though, you can't determine that. What like that, the up and down? You never. Uh, do you really do? I right, do you really believe in that? That shit boggles my mind every day. I'd be, I'd be like nervous and shit, bro. I'd be like, yo. See, I don't want to get it. It's the fact of you go to hell. It's all the stories. You go to hell, you get tortured for eternity. See, I've heard stories of people going to heaven. I never heard stories of people going to hell. Because they can't. Because <laughs> they can't? Because they never come back? Yeah, <laughs> bro. I just think. You can't speak from, from. See, it's like this. Like, in a way, people in a way could speak from hell. Because I guess how some people be saying they encounter. Demons and, and and you know dangerous spirits and shit like that. Yeah. I don't know. That that whole spirit realm shit, that's what I'm saying. That realm of spirit shit, that shit is all I feel like, like it's all weird. That's what I'm saying. It's based on what you believe in. That's where you go. Cause it's like I feel like I, feel, I don't I don't even know it. It's like cause everybody is different. Like like with Muslims, they believe like whatever they do. Bad or good. But I still feel like that at the end of our life, we're all literally going to get the same treatment because regardless of what we all believe in, we literally all are going to have the same outcome and stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. Because we literally all have to go to the same places because we're the same beings. You never know. What if these niggas is not the same people? Just because I think differently, think I'm going to go somewhere different than you. I'm going to fucking be the same. I don't know. But what if it's just portrayed differently? Like it just looks different to you. Like to you, it looks different. But to me, it's like the same shit. It's like you have your own little bubble. I got my own little bubble. Own little bubble would I be cool? That's I'm cl- I'm chilling with that. I don't know. That's why I think you just keep reliving yourself, bro. That's why I tell myself, bro. But I, w- I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to keep reincarnating though. You don't think so? But you never know. Maybe, maybe twice and that's it. But you would never know you're reincarnating yourself. What if you reincarnate to some bullshit? But you just you might fucking around, kill yourself, <laughs> Yo, start all over. You reincarnate to some bullshit. You just can't. Re- re- start, start over. You gonna off yourself? Yeah, you off yourself. <laughs> you start all over. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. right, what if you was a dog? Nah, I don't think you could do that, though. <laughs> what you mean? I just think you could. You come back as Jordan. Bro, you can't come back as your own self. You, how, then why is there different realities Reincar- of ourselves? Reincarnation is when you I don't think turn you into could, a whole new form. I don't think you could reincarnate into a fucking dog. Bruh. That's shitty, my nigga. Bro, I think I think that's just nigga. That means I could re- reincarnate bro, that's into a cheese fly. If you reincarnate into your own body again. What if I reincarnate into a tree? Then you a tree, motherfucker. No, I don't want to be no fucking tree. But you literally the the essence of life, though. You think about it, nigga. So I'm gonna be gotta... standing for my the rest of like hundreds of years. You'd probably feel good though, bro. Nah, bro. You give out oxygen. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, you, like feel me. I don't want to be no fucking tree, bro. Like niggas. Cause like imagine like. Remember how some people, when, say, like, their dog passed away. Yeah. And they get another puppy. Mm-hmm. Some people be saying, like, in a way, that's, like, reincarnation, because, like, they stay, they feel and sense, like... Their dog is into yeah. this dog? Yeah. Okay, but that's a two dogs. I won't go into another dog. I'll go into... I'll all go right, into so, me. All right, so, all right, we're going to reincarnate into another, like, a baby. Yeah. But a whole other family. Well, I'm still... Yeah. Look, but, like, look. You'll be in, si- in Siberia, boy. But I would never know though. Like I would never know like how good my past was. Nah, you only gonna know when you're when you're born. The first ten minutes. And That's then, why you and cry. Then, then it disappears. That's why you crying and shit. That, that could be. <laughs> I don't you're know, like, bro. Oh, bro. I don't know, bro. I had all this memory. Where's <laughs> it going? Uh, I got I got another question for you though, bro. So would you ra- Which one would you rather fight for your life? 30 12 twelve-year-olds armed with rocks, or thirty house cats? Thirty house. Bro, think cats. about it. Cats be vicious, my nigga. That's a lot nah, of cats. I'm doing the kids. You do do the kids? <laughs> the twelve year olds type big though. Oh, you said twelve year olds. Twelve year olds. Nah, like this. not toddlers. I'm talking twelve year olds. Nowadays, the way these kids be built, they be tall as fuck. I know they kind of big with rocks. I might have to do the cats. Thirty I cats. I, actually, I don't. You said thirty cats and thirty kids. Thirty twelve year olds or thirty cats. Why they got it all? Ah, uh, you gotta reduce the number of kids. Nah, bro. but all thirty. They have weapons. It's just rocks. Rocks. It's just rocks. They're gonna stone me. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you better fight back. Oh, I think I'll do the kids though. I only need one or two kids to miss a rock, and I'm chucking the mother ones. I think I'm gonna pick the cats. I'm gonna just continuously just kick them, bro. But they got crazy ass reflexes, all of that shit. Why you're dealing with one, trying to grab that shit, but I should scramble and he had another one. 
fucking your legs up. I know. It's going to hurt. I'm going to get scratched up really badly, but I think I could survive the cats. Like, I feel like I might, like, unless, as long as they don't go for, like, my neck and shit, like, they try to bite my neck off, because I know that that's what they be doing. I think I could, I could fight off a bunch of cats. I, I think, I think I might do the cats. I feel like the kids, I feel like one of them might catch me good. Catch me lacking in the back of my head, I'm dead. Oh, yeah, in the back of your you, you clip. In my medulla, I'm the guy, I'm fucking. You gotta wear a helmet. <laughs> nah, bro, you just arm by you with your nah, fist. Yeah. That's cheese, that's cheese numbers. It's, it's the fact that it's 30. If it was, like. 12 Nah oh, right. So you gonna take You gonna take the cats I'll take the cats Alright Alright all right, all right. I'll take the cats Alright So I got That's just gonna be hard as fuck bro It is bro Cause think about it These cats is agile as fuck Here's the thing right I feel like cats are gonna be Difficult to deal with More than the kids they, The kids is easier it's Just if you get caught Lacking once You might get Fucked up I know but like and like cats You could get caught lacking You're just gonna be A lot of pain Yeah damn. And like And like the kids too They all might not be big You might get a couple Little 12 year olds in there Man, I ain't gonna hold you when I was 12. I, I knew I knew how much power I got, so what the fuck? <laughs> what power you thought you had? I knew I knew the power I had a total. I'm like, bro, I have enough power in my fists. If I chuck that shit at somebody, that shit gonna do damage. <laughs> so I know a 12 year old is strong as fuck enough to to do and it's not like they're throwing at you. They they can they can punch you, they can hit you with the rock. They can beam it at you while you're on the ground. Imagine looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> See, bro, like nah. <laughs> you don't want that. Nah, nah, I'm not taking it either. I'm gonna take the fucking cat, bro. I'll take the cat, bro. I- I'd rather go. Nah, yeah, I'm not going out back. No kids. The cats are the easy though. All right, and I got one last question for you, my brother. So, which one would you rather fight for one billion dollars? You would fight a panda or a cheetah, and you have a knife on you. Which one are you fighting? Full grown, both. They're both full grown. Cheetah. cheetah? <sighs> Light word, bro. You seen Tarzan? Fuck Tarzan. Nigga, you ain't Tarzan. I am Tarzan, No, you bro. not. You might look like Tarzan. You're not I'm fucking really Tarzan, Tarzan, bro. No, you saw not. what he did with me. He picked it up out of the, out of the pit with all First of all, that's, that's a jaguar. That's not no cheetah. Exactly. He did with a jaguar. Okay, so you go kill a cheetah? A cheetah is way lighter and skinnier. I feel like a panda bear pussy, And I bro. feel like you stabbing a cheetah literally once or twice is done up. But what about a panda bear? Well, them niggas is kind of quick, cheetahs though. cheetahs weigh like under 100 or a little, more, a little above 100, bro. A cheetah weigh like 150, up. bro. All right, 150. All right, maybe a little above 200. Let's see. Let's see cheetah I'm weight. Guessing. Nigga said. They're definitely not in that 100 range. They're not more than two, 210. Don't don't say that. 46 to 160. 160 pounds. All right, that's not bad. 160? Huh? Yeah. I weigh more than a fucking cheetah. Let me see a panda weight. Panda well, 150 to 280. That's not that big. 280? But like, just imagine if you miss, bro, and that shit goes for your neck, you're done. Like, them shits is fast. At I'm least not, a panda, that's like a bigger surface area to, like, stab uh, at. Nah, the, the panda's like another version of a bear for me. So you don't think you could get... Look how, like... Man, I, he's too strong, bro. This shit ain't that, bro. Yo, they thick. Okay, that's more surface area to, like, aim at. Nah, hey, I don't know. You're scaring me now, bro. I'm, I'm looking... I'm, I'm Just picture. Imagine a cheetah with the teeth and all that shit ready to pounce at me. Exactly. Or a panda bear. Just a bit, like a big, like they're just fat. Bro, but like, you know how hard it is to just fucking kill him? What do you mean? Just stab him somewhere. You know how much thickness and blubber he got under the I don't think he's that thick, though. I don't bro, think he like, I don't think it's like a, a grizzly bear. Be, motherfuckers be blicking bears, bro. I think there's just as... When do you hear somebody say they shot a panda bear? They usually shoot grizzlies. They don't be shooting no panda bears. Because they, they, cause they like... i my chance with that cheetah, bro. Bro, that shit, imagine that shit just, just runs at you. Here, here it goes, right? Here it goes. Wait, what is your tactic? Let me hear it. All right, before I see him attack it. All right. Basically, look, if I catch a cheetah lacking, he's done up. But if yeah. you catch me lacking, I'm done up. If you catch the same so thing. So me, me and the cheetah got a 50-50 chance. If he fuck up, he's done up. If I fuck up, I'm done up. Same thing with the panda, though. It's 50-50. All right, I have my chance. I always say this shit every time, bro. If it's like a tiger or some shit, bro. Yeah. You got a knife. And he's gonna bite you, bro. Try to put that knife in his fucking mouth. Bro. No, don't do that. <laughs> as soon as you get that shit stuck up there, just rip that shit. He's fuck his whole Nigga, mouth. You might up. fucking lose a hand, bro. He gonna lose hella. What if you drop the knife in his mouth, bro? If it's stab him right here around his roof, and I pull it forward, bro, he's not even gonna want to open his mouth, bro. If I feel like panda bears can't even open their mouth that large, bro. They can't that shit little. Bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You're not gonna bite me that hard. His claw. I feel like his his. Whatever shit. That sweat. shit going, all right, that shit going, ah, ah, that hurt a little bit. But like, I know, like a cheetah, that shit got all claws. Right, all right, now that I think about it, 
Think of, think about a cheetah attacking something. Think about a panda bear attacking something. I'll do a panda. That's what I'm saying, bro. Fuck Poe, bro. Well, I'm kind of scared of him. Why? I've never seen a vicious panda. I feel like that's just going to be scary. Though. I heard pandas are pretty, like, vicious. Like, if they're they charge terrible. at me, I feel like I'm going to be scared. <laughs> you going to freeze? That's what you're saying. Yo. See, pandas, bro. Pandas, bro. Bro, all you got to do is catch him lacking and stab him in his face, bro. That, he's not, he's not going to be lacking because he's going to be charging you. You think anybody's ever tried to stab a bear in his face? Yeah. You heard about that? That Does that, it work? You heard about the freaking, those kids from, I think, like, Ohio State. He was, like, a wrestler. Like, his friend was getting mauled by a bear, and he fucking tackled that shit. And that nigga started, that, nigga, that shit started attacking him. Nigga got his face fucked up. This shit got, he got fucked, bro. He was, I forgot where they from. I think it was, like, Ohio or Man, something like that. he tried to save his friend. He ended up getting the, the most fucked up. He, they, they both lived. But like he, he like if it wasn't for him, his friend might might have died. Oh my god! Bro. Like he literally just tackled that bear like a fucking. Bro, it's just the fact of seeing a bear ch- try to maul and chew your face. I know. Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Let's not talk about that. I don't bro, because I can tell kids. them claws is. You ever seen their paws, bro? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't want to even just, know, bro. Yo, you just need you just need one there to go a little a little in and then pull down. No. Nah. You don't need it to go. You don't need the nail to go all the way. In. Just a little. Little poke inside, like a little needle incision, and just pull it down. <sighs> you know, it was a deadly bear, bro. A sloth bear, bro. I heard them shits is terrible. Those are where um them tigers be trying to hunt. Yeah, I heard. Isn't well, that they like in... for, they only go try to go for the babies. Though. Where are they the from? Mothers, Asia, think, like yeah. Right. The yeah. Asian sloth bear. That's crazy, bro. Damn, bro. But you shits, ain't... Are, shits are very. Nasty. Is that the one where they had a video and he like ran? He's like. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Yeah, nah. talking about nah. They look crazy though, bro. Nah, I'm they cool don't. Up. They don't look like regular bear. They look like some type of homeless bear, bro. Like this shit look dirty. It look dirty, bro. <laughs> it look dirty as fuck. Nah, I'm cool. Their off claws that, are bro. like that. Shit's massive, bro. So I'm saying we literally. I think like I remember Tyrone t- said it best, bro. We're literally Batman in a world full of superheroes. <laughs> like think about it, we tight. We're really Batman. <laughs> nah, yeah, the animals are. are if they just not as smart as us. They, yeah, they just not as smart. <laughs> Unless a dolphin, low king. Yeah, but like dolphins not gonna kill us. There's nothing that's they, there's nothing smart enough to like they well, want to be better than us. Them niggas got they, they use ten percent of their brain. You're you're jealous of a dolphin? They use ten percent of their brain. How much percent we use? I think we only use like five. They three, use ten percent. They still the fuck the fuck they do it with their lives. They what's that what's that noise you making? I can't even do that. I'm not, even, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing no cameras. <laughs> Nigga, Charlie's gonna try like a dolphin. <laughs> But you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? Nah, man. I'm all clear here. All right. Thank you again for pulling up, my dog. Thank you all again for tuning to another episode of No Regis Podcast, episode number 77. Shout out to my brother, Jordan. If y'all want to DM us, all that stuff, all the uh, links will be down in the description for all our social media shit like that. Follow all our social medias. New merch coming soon. All that good stuff. And you got any what last words for the people, my brother, before we end it? Stay frosty. You say that every time. What does that mean? You better play Call of Duty, bro. I do play Call of Duty, but what's that supposed to mean? Stay frosty. Is that what the nigga says in the campaign? He says, bro. Stay, because- stay, stay, stay good, bro. Because this nigga played a campaign, weird ass nigga. Yo, you weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga played a campaign. But we different. They record no records, man. Gangsta. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.